snap. Yo, this dude really put that up on Twitter, yo. He crazy. Oh, yeah, he crazy. Shit. Oh, snap, I got a game invite from Blackjack. I ain't even know. Let me hop on in and kick his ass, too. Oh, snap. You know what? Man, I do got to edit up a video. Let me tell Blackjack I'll hit him up later while I do this commentary. Shit, nigga. All right, he the homie. He'll understand. Dang, Blackjack? Dang, bruh. I told you I was why all these invites. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Stax Montana. You already know I got my boy Cameron Baker out here. Look at me, buddy. Yeah, Paul Pierce just work pulling up, getting buckets at the free throw line. That boy can't guard me. Look at this. They just threw the ball right to me. How you just gonna throw the ball right to me? Look at John Wall flying high, slamming it down. The boy John Wall got bounce. Jumping up. Look at Paul. Yo, Paul Pierce is getting done dirty out here for real, dog. For real. Look at look. I got Paul Pierce on me again right here. You already know I'm trying to embarrass him. Pulling up for three. Getting the buckets. <laughs> and the boy Cam got so much swag. He's so official with his swag too, man. Look at him crossing over. Going straight to the rack. And oh. Oh, uh, you heard that whistle. You already know what we want to do with these free throws, man. You already know. Gotta have some swag. Gotta get my dribble on. I'm gonna dribble. 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 Pause for the bitches. And then I get the buckets. You already know we want to go to. Oh, oh. Blackjack. Black, what you doing here? Hey, Nick Blackjack. Hey, Stack. Nick Blackjack. Get off me. Get, get off me, man. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Blackjack Media here. I'll be taking over this commentary for Stax because he's a little tied up at the moment. So it looks like we have Cameron Baker. Stax is my player. He hop steps. He pulls up at the buzzer. Buckets. Stax is my player. Cameron Baker is pretty good. Okay, he's backing down. Sullinger in the post. He spins off. Goes up with a monster slam. And Stax, you're going to have to charge your batteries once you get untied. <laughs> you should have joined the game. So it looks like Cameron Baker has some versatility. He's posting up while well, he's attempting to post up. Okay, gives him back in the post. Oh, look, look, he's fading away like Kobe. Buckets again. Cameron Baker is actually good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm showing Stacks how a video should actually be done. Because you already know I'm the best interpreter of videos. And oh my god. Look at that slam. Stacks, I bet you will love to see this. Oh my god. Look how he extends the ball behind his head. Stacks, you're missing some good videos over here. <laughs> you should have invited me. <laughs> now I got to show everyone how to really do a commentary. <laughs> okay, looks like we have Paul Pierce. Hey. Stax, Stax, what are you doing? Stax, I, I, I was just playing. I was just kidding. Stax, please, just stay away. Just stay away. No, nah, Nicky, you thought you was going to get away with this thing. Come here. Stop moving. Stop moving. You thought you was going to get away with this thing. Huh? Yeah, I got you now. I'm about to teach this dude a lesson about breaking Stacks, in my house. Stax, I'm sorry. Shut up. Oh, shut okay. up. Okay. okay. So real niggas stay up and I am out. Peace. Turn this shit off. No black jacks were harmed in the making of this video. Super Mascot Melee!
Let's go! Select your character. The Oregon Duck. Betty Beaver. Select your stage. The Autzen Zoo. Prepare for kickoff. Welcome to another game of mascot melee between these two wildlife mascots appropriately here in the zoo. I'm Kenny Stockhammer. And I'm Jim Smith. And whoa, check out that sick flip move there, Jim. I'm not sure if that's legal. I've never seen anything like it. I have seen a Bengal do it once, Kenny, flipping into the end zone and stuck the landing. Ooh, well, Bitty Beaver sure stuck the hit there. Not a good start for the Ducks. No, and though the Ducks are at home, the weather puts them at a disadvantage. The Beavers are wearing pants and have fur, and the Ducks have opted to go commando. Good thing Bitty Beaver checked his shadow. Kenny, that's Groundhogs. Yeah, well, I bet he liked to burrow into a hole after that hit. Still talking about Groundhogs, Kenny. And check out this jailbreak blitz, bursting through the dam of the Beavers and bringing the quarterback down. I guess third time's the charm. Nice recovery, Kenny. Thanks, Jim. And isn't that just the most adorable pass rush you've ever seen? Look at that duck, strutting his stuff, shaking that junk. Why isn't that being censored? Shh, not now, Jim. The ducks are moving into proper flight formation. Look at them going the option here. Oh, looks like they got Scrooge McDuck at quarterback as he keeps it himself and picks up the first down. He may have been greedy, but he made an excellent read. Ooh, but not a smart read there. Scrooge got caught trying to spread the wealth, and Benny picked his pockets. And Benny seems to be having a pretty good laugh about it on the sideline. Well, he's not laughing anymore. That quack attack's got him running like a chicken with his head cut off. And that's yet another sack and another three and out for the Ducks. Let's see if they can get something going on offense now. Well, they wasted no time getting downfield. And look at this. Over the middle for a touchdown. A great play there. These birds of a feather finally flock together. And it looks like they're going to go for two. Yes, they are, as is the Oregon Duck tradition. Because of their webbed feet, they have a difficult time kicking the football. So on their first possession, they always go for two. Well, those webbed feet had no problem waddling into the end zone. They get the two points. And the Ducks are ready to add more to that lead as they come back out on offense. Ooh, but Scrooge makes another costly turnover and gives it back to the Beavers. Wow, Kenny, I must say, you've been very on point with your wit since the whole groundhog thing. Thanks, Jim. I just do my best. Just like that duck right there, making the interception. Oh, but I guess his best wasn't good enough as he fumbled the football after making the pick. The Beavers recover. See, that's poor technique right there. Really has to learn how to tuck that football under his wing. Right you are, Kenny. And look at this little toss to the outside. A little spin move, breaks a tackle, and he's in for the score. And it's about time. They've been trying to chew and gnaw their way to the end zone, and it finally pays off. But not a good start to the second half. Benny Beaver goes down again. Man, the Ducks have just been pounding that beaver. Kenny? What's up, Jim? <sighs> Never mind. Ooh, but look at this downfield pass as Benny Beaver streaks downfield. He's got the sideline. Yeah, but he can't get the top speed because of that tail. All that drag resistance. Imagine how fast he could be without it. Right you are, Kenny, as they try to go for it here on third down. But they can't convert. They'll have to settle for three instead of getting seven. Could be a key moment in this game. And sure enough, the Ducks come back with the aerial assault of their own. Silly beavers, leave the flying to the birds. And those silly beavers must be angry beavers now after giving up such a quick score. Speaking of which, I've actually met Daggett and Norbert in real life. Cool guys, and they've actually got a sweet pet. Good to know, Ken, is oh my, he drops an easy interception in the end zone. Looks like he came up all feathers and no thumbs there. Great observation there, Kenny, as the Beavers are going to come up just short of the goal line. And here comes the big play of the game, a fourth and goal. They're sending a receiver out wide. Looks like they're going to pass here. And that pass might have just cost him the game. It's an interception. And he's not just happy with picking it off. He's looking to return this one back to the house. Look, I told you those tails were slowing them down. And you were right, Kenny. The duck outruns Benny Beaver for the score, putting the nail in the coffin. Well, now hold on, Jim. The Beavers still have some time to... Oh, wait, never mind. It's over. And that'll do it for us here. Thanks for watching another game of Mascot Melee. Until next time. The Oregon Duck wins. Continue. Game over.